Hey everybody, it's Pookie TVX. Was um watching a video just now on YouTube. And um it's this person I ain't gonna say his name. But uh I'm getting tired of holding this shit in, man, and not and not really addressing it and saying what the fuck is going on or how he think that we goddamn idiots. I'm far from an idiot, man. And he gets on there talking about some Me Too shit. Where's Me Too for the boys and the kids? And in his game of YouTube growth. This man done shitting on victims of abuse. Glorified killing and murder charges that he beat. went after everybody that didn't agree with his message. And a couple of videos ago, this person tried to slip his, to try and slip himself to say, compare himself to Malcolm X. Because I guess since Malcolm X people assassinated him, this nigga think he in that same situation. <laughs> he trying to compare himself to Malcolm X. See, the thing about Malcolm X is when he was red, he did everything, burglary, drugs, everything you could think of. He went to jail, changed his life, and turned it around and stayed on that path. He stayed on that path of righteousness all the way to his death. So when he's on this path, he didn't veer off and talk about what entertainers are going through or who's doing this or who's doing what. No, his message stayed the same all the way through. And for this person to try and compare themselves to a damn Malcolm X is fucking unbelievable. It's fucking unbelievable. He says he's for all this and all this for the kids and all this shit. I haven't seen this nigga take his fucking camera to a boys and girls club. Take his camera to a park. Or anywhere to talk to any type of child. Except for his kids. And yet, he talks as if he's this fucking messiah. And the shit fucking irks me, man. Because people can't be that stupid to follow this fucking clown and believe this shit that he's saying. It's just no way. You're not going to get me to believe that. He think he fucking God sent and he not. He the same nigga that's trying to get the bag. Just like how them people 
didn't give a fuck all them years when R. Kelly was doing that. The same way this nigga is. He said all this shit about Tommy Sotomayor. Yeah, I'm going to say Tommy name because I'm not bashing Tommy. But he said all this shit about Tommy Sotomayor and and um try to team up with some guy to um, stop Tommy Sotomayor's money, his YouTube money. I mean, teamed up with this dude and was telling everybody to um, flag his shit and and um, stop the flow so he won't be able to talk this shit. Okay, so he did that. Fast forward a few months. And he's building his success in YouTube. And here comes Monty Woodgrain. Making skits. And using everything that this person said against him. He didn't try to, Monty didn't try to flag his channel. He didn't try to stop his money. And this person tried to get all his subscribers to call Monty's job to get him fired. <sighs> Fucking nerve, right? To get this man fired. And his excuse for doing so was that Monty's, what is it, Monty's dragging his name down and supposedly flagging his fucking channel, which I don't believe Monty did and trying to flag his channel to stop his money because um, YouTube is his job, he said. But he did the same thing to Tommy to get his foot in the game. So, it's all for the money, views, likes, and subs, and zero for the kids. That is the main cause of his, of his fucking mission to help the children. He ain't in no big brother program. He ain't mentoring no kids. And he on here talking about R. Kelly and the Me Too. And gonna have the nerve to say, tell kids when it happens to hurry up and report it and say it and hurry up and say it and get it out. When it took this nigga 30 something years to say something. Shit crazy, man, I swear. Shit crazy. It's all to step on the neck to get up in life. If you have to step on brothers and sisters and use a false promotion to build people to believe in you, 
to like you and think you righteous because of your cause? To get money? If that's how you get money, man, I don't fucking want it. To step on another man's neck, especially a black man's, and a woman's neck, and talking about killing a person's mom and and she's buried right there, or the infamous one, I'm gonna stick heavy dick up in your Y'all know what I'm saying. That don't sound like a person that's been abused. It sounds like a fucking abuser. I could be wrong. I could be. But what I see and the actions I've seen Ain't no way I'm wrong. To talk about a man's child and say how black and ugly she is and then say she look like a damn cockroach to a child now. No matter who my enemy is, or whatever. There's no way, no way, I'm gonna disrespect a child over a goddamn beef. There's no way, there's no way I would do that. And people support this shit. That's what's killing about it. People support this shit. And he just get on there and just talk all kind of fucking bullshit, man. Straight bullshit. And at, 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 at the end of every video, is hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and share it so that other people could get it. Fuck out my face, man. He don't say at the end of the video, I want everybody to go out there and, you know, you see a kid or something, support that kid. Be there for that kid, you know. Donate to some kids that need something. Never. But that's his cause. I ain't seen him take no picture with no kid. Like, oh, I'm mentoring this kid and show a picture, or oh, I'm mentoring this kid and show a picture. No. But he damn sure in pictures with his abuser. Sorry, y'all, man. I just had to. I just had to get that shit out, man. It's war, man. I could go on for hours, man. But I just had to let that shit go, man. Cause the, I know the real ones. They see the bullshit. They can see through it, man. They can see through it, man. They, any motherfucker with uh with common fucking sense. With any shred of common sense, man. Can see the shit, man. It's plain as fucking day. For you not to be worrying about no goddamn money off of this shit. And worried about all this shit. Why would you get a man fired from his real fucking job? Because if it ain't about the money. Then what's the point? 
Because you damn sure ain't saying it's, it's about the kids because your message can't get to the kids. You ain't say that. You ain't say, oh, you try to stop my stuff so I can't get the message out to the kids. I can't get the, no, you talking about stop, stopping to stop them to fuck your job off. That's what you worried about. <sighs> These people follow this dude, man. And believe him. Fuck that. I was already skeptical in the beginning. But then when I heard him say, he wanted to, he said, what if I put heavy dick up in this man? Sorry, y'all, man. I had to get that out, man. I ain't gonna keep going because I can go on and on, man. People, please. Think. Think. Don't get confused and tripped up with the emotional shit. Think about it. Think think about it and replay it and replay it. Study that shit. Look at it. I ain't never seen a, a um, person that's been abused this so fucking flamboyant. And the other person that was abused that can actually be in the same spot that he is in isn't he's nowhere in sight understand that man y'all have a blessed one i'm out